Today we are diving deep into the world of cholesterol. I'm gonna teach you evidence-based tips on how to lower your cholesterol naturally. So let's dive in. So diving straight into tip number one, it's all about the power of fiber. Seriously, having a higher fiber diet is like giving your heart a high five, okay? Here's what happens. Having foods that are high in soluble fibers, okay, like fruit, like oats, like beans, are gonna help soak up the LDL. What's LDL? LDL is the bad cholesterol that we're trying to lower. So it's a great thing to incorporate into your diet. And diving straight into tip number two, the magic of healthy fats. Yes, you heard me right. Healthy fats, these can be your heart's best friend. And by that, I mean healthy, unsaturated fats found in avocados and olive oil, opting for these instead of those unhealthy fats that we all know so, so well. Because here's what's gonna happen. These healthy fats are gonna help increase your healthy fats known as HDL, okay? We're gonna increase those and keep those unhealthy fats in check. So embrace the healthy fats, but not the bad ones. That's the most important thing. And moving on to tip number three, a low cholesterol diet plan is incomplete without a rainbow of vegetables and fruits on your plate. It's gonna be packed with antioxidants, it's going to be packed with minerals and vitamins that are all going to help with cholesterol. In terms of the best sort of vegetables to look out for and fruits, we're talking spinach, broccoli and berries, but obviously keep it diverse, try different things, see what you enjoy. And diving straight into tip number four, we've got to keep it healthy. It's all about cooking style. So instead of roasting and frying, up for more healthy ways of cooking, such as boiling, poaching, grilling, steaming, even microwaving, all of these are much healthier with a lower amount of fat. And moving on to tip number five, when it comes to meat, I want you to think lean and mean, okay? So in terms of poultry, we need to have skinless chicken, skinless turkey. In terms of meat, if you're gonna be having beef or pork, try and go for leaner cuts, okay? Like tenderloin or loin cuts. All of these are much lower in fat. Also, in terms of dairy, try and go for the fat-free versions. Again, what we're trying to do here is lower our saturated fats. That's the aim. Okay, so you ready for tip number six? Exercise, whether it's dancing, jogging, or a friendly game of basketball, getting that heart rate up, getting moving is gonna help with our cholesterol, it's gonna help increase those HDL levels, and it's gonna help lower those LDL levels. So get moving today. And moving on to tip number seven, smoking and alcohol, two of the most common culprits when it comes to higher cholesterol levels. Excessive alcohol can basically increase our triglycerides. We don't want high triglycerides, they're not good for us. It also leads to weight gain. And smoking, not only does it cause all those other problems and damage to blood vessels, but it also reduces our ability to get rid of the bad cholesterol. So, you need to cut down on these or quit completely, especially with the smoking, by the way. And if you want more help on this, I have videos on it, which I'm gonna leave links in the description below, and also really useful NHS articles that you should definitely check out. Now, if you found this video helpful today, Today, show some love and support our team by donating us a cup of coffee. Simply click the thanks button below. Donate whatever you can because your help will support us to create more medical videos just like this one. Sending awesome vibes.